Solving system of linear equations is one of the applications of matrices. In our previous lesson, we have seen how to solve a system of linear equation using determinant and inverse of a matrix. So in today's tutorial, we are going to look on to how to solve a system of linear equations using Kramer's rule. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Don't forget also to hit the like button. So, so first we have this system of linear equation. First thing we need to do here is to form a matrix of the coefficients of our unknown variables. The coefficients are two, three, one, negative two. So let's form this matrix. We have two, one, three, negative two. This is our matrix. Next, we are going to find the determinant of this matrix formed. We call it delta two, three, one, negative two. Remember, this is a sign of determinant using this absolute structure. Multiply the leading diagonals. We have two multiplied by negative two. Then you subtract, you multiply the other diagonal. We have three multiplied by one. You simplify two multiplied by negative two is negative four. Minus three times one is also three. Minus four minus three is equal to minus seven. So this is our determinant. Let us keep it aside. Determinant is equal to negative seven. Let me wipe it away. Next, we are going to find the determinant with respect to x. To do that, we are going to replace the x column by the constant terms. These are the constant five and four. These are the x column, you can see them here. We are going to replace them with constants. We have five and four. So the determinant with respect to x will be five, four, one, negative two. Let's find the determinant. Five times negative two, then you subtract four multiplied by one. Let's simplify. Five times negative two is negative 10, minus four times one is four. Finally, the determinant with respect to x is equal to negative 14. Let us keep it aside. We have determinant with respect to x is equal to negative 14. Now let us find the determinant with respect to y. In this case, we are going to leave the x column constant. They replace the y column by the constant times. The x column remain constant. Then instead of the y column, we replace it with the constants. We have five and four. This is the matrix form. Then determinant with respect to y will be two, three, five, four. Two multiplied by four minus three multiplied by five. Let's simplify. We have two times four, eight, minus three times five is 15. Finally, determinant with respect to y is equal to negative seven because eight minus 15 is negative seven. Let us keep it here. So next, we want to find the value of x. To find the value of x, we are going to divide the determinant with respect to x over the main determinant. This is equal to the determinant with respect to x is negative 14. The main determinant is negative 7. And negative, negative cancels. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And hence, x is equal to 2. To find the value of y, we say that the determinant with respect to y divided by the main determinant, y is equal to the determinant with respect to y is negative 7. 
main determinant is also negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. You can check this in the main equation. The main equation is 2 multiplied by x, the first equation, meaning 2 multiplied by 2, you can see is 4. Then you add y is equal to 1. Is this equal to 5? Yes, absolutely. Because the right hand side is equal to 5. To test the other equation, we have 3 multiplied by x, 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6. Then you subtract 2 multiplied by y, 2 multiplied by 1, which is the same thing as 2. Is this equal to 4? Absolutely. And hence, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.